Uh, first, I would like to thank the Secretary General of ITU because during his visit in Bangladesh uh, in 2010, he has applauded the digital health initiatives of Bangladesh and that really has encouraged us a lot. Uh, Again, ITU, by arranging this conference, has let us know that there are so many wonderful and amazing things happening in different parts of the world. And uh, the subject of the conference, there were diverse subjects of the conference, uh, how technology will trans transform the health sector, funding modules for digital health and how innovation can help us tackle the health sector's different challenges. So, uh, we have learnt a lot and also was amazed with the smart home concept where we can take care of the health of the elderly population, their blood pressure and if they, um, the conditions of Alzheimer's can be uh, known to us even prior to its attack. So, you know, it's like a whole new experience that we are having here. And ITU being a global platform has thus encouraged us to know about the best practices of other countries. And at the same time, we have learned uh, from the lessons learned from different countries. So we will not be repeating the mistakes uh, that other countries have. And uh, through this uh, global conference and initiatives that ITU takes every year, actually, uh, we thus become a strong global partner. Uh, the country experiences matters to us. We know that we have to work together to establish or to build up a very strong infrastructure, telecommunication infrastructure. If we want to give smartphone to every women's hand or every population's hand, every citizen's hand, then we have to work together. We have to have the financing. Uh, so global partnership is what matters and I think ITU has created this platform for strengthening the global partnership. There are actually many issues that touched me like um, how we can take these um, digital health initiatives at the doorstep of the hard to reach population. The last mile solution is very important for specifically for Bangladesh because we are lay laying optical fiber connection to 1000 unions and 290 upuzilas which are the lowest tier of the administrative unit but we are struggling with the last mile solution so their ideas about the last mile solution will be really helpful for us and at the same time how we can work uh, in coalition with uh, different countries and also interministerial uh, collaboration. Mm, these are the uh, things that have interested me. I think the major challenge is infrastructure and uh, though we are really trying hard, we generate so much of revenue but most of it like goes for the physical infrastructure. So we want our portion of the share to be invested in the telecommunications infrastructure. Amongst the population of 160 million, 130 million are mobile phone users. Yes, and they are. We have many projects like I've talked about Shano Kishori where the adolescent girls, they communicate with each other, they have created their own network and they talk about taboo subjects like how HIV can be transmitted, how they can prevent HIV, they talk about health and hygiene during menstruation which are taboo subjects in rural areas or in villages, but they have established a network. They are networking with the local administration, with police stations, with NGOs. So they are doing a tremendous job and also we have 24-hour health service. We have linked numbers with the district 
uh, hospitals and also now we are trying to link each and every hospital uh, with uh, these helplines. So we are doing quite a lot in this sector. We are also uh, trying to include the people living in different slum areas. We are also working to include the uh, well-being and uh, the healthy living practices of the slum, slum dwellers uh, by introducing digital healthcare there also. So we are just empowering them with a computer, with a laptop, with a mobile phone. But here I would like to say that we are looking at a Bangladesh. We want to look at a Bangladesh where each and every woman will have a smartphone in their hand. Because we have seen that if we empower a woman with a smartphone, she empowers her family. She empowers the entire community. And she invests in the family and also in the education of her girl child. So that is where we want the support of the international community.